Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Firewatch. Now, I originally wanted the reading your comments video to be in this one. What is that? Oh, is this what I was probably supposed to try to pry it open with, but I don't think it's gonna work anymore? So, huh, <laughs> get rid of that. Now I've got... Yes! Oh! <clears throat> well, that's not exactly how I thought that was gonna be used. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or uh -huh. hide this? No, screw it. Okay. Yeah, screw it. We got some scientists to confront and then immediately threaten with our axe crowbar thing. What's this? Hello? Oh. Ah! Ow! Ow! Did I just get stung by a bee? God damn it. Well, anyway, before I continue and read this, which I'm gonna do exactly, and I'm not gonna before anything, if you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area, and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Okay, thank you! That doesn't help me much at all because I kind of just broke and entered, but that doesn't matter at this point. Because I'm a shadow in the night. No one's gonna get by me. I wish I had firstborns. First, for <laughs> I wish I had Forrest Burns on my side. Hello. Yeah, I was originally gonna have reading your comments in this slot, but I like to take my time with reading your comments. And after I just got back from Boston from visiting a friend, I don't have a lot of time. I'm playing catch up. I napped for about four hours yesterday and slept for another 12 just to catch up on the jet lag. And, uh,. I'm not doing terribly good this morning. I had had to have like three cups of coffee, but I'm getting there. And uh, a lot of people were demanding this and I was kind of setting a schedule of doing this every other day, so I want to maintain that. So this will be when you're seeing it now. You guys are seeing it right now, so you don't need to worry about any timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly interference. But also, later today, I will still put up reading your comments. I'm gonna take my time with it. I like to make those a really fun, uh, very interesting thing for you guys to enjoy. So, that's all the preface that I need to say back to the game right now. And getting stung by a bee, oddly enough, reminded me of another thing that happened in my life, which I'll get to okay, in a second. I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Uh-huh. Yeah, lucky for us. Lucky for us. There is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking stuff. a big 20 foot tall transmission tower. Uh -huh. They can probably listen to whoever the hell they want. Right. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Uh huh. Okay, that seems good for a secret government operation. I'm just waiting till I get in this door and I'm gonna burst it down and it's just gonna be a bunch of scientists crocheting or something. Very peaceful guys. Monitoring bear mating rituals. But anyway, when I was a kid, I probably told this story before, but uh, me and my brother were very stupid. Me especially. I was extremely dumb and had this weird mindset that animals loved me and nature was totally like my buddy. And it was not. Doing something with the soil out here too. It's yeah. all gridded off. Like archaeology. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. Hmm. Yeah, this does seem to be like an archaeology grip, but there was a beehive in a bush out in the middle of our backyard, and me and my brother thought it would be a great idea to go visit them. But we were smart enough that we uh, put on our ski jackets in the middle of summer, by the way. It was like 90 degree weather. Holy shit. Oh. Hello! Oh, this seems good. I'm in their main tent. Yes. It's Bad. Definitely some sort of monitoring station. Drugs. Drugs and shit. Where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Mm -hmm. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. Do they know I'm here? How do they know I'm here? Have they been listening to this new radio? Is that a bad thing? Why is there red light glowing over there? I'm gonna be here in the middle of the night. All right, let me just see if I can find anything and then I'm gonna continue my story. Barometer. I found their main monitoring desk. Oh my god, what do you see? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. Uh, wow. Okay, they are! Okay. Got another clipboard here that confirms that they're tracking our movements. The log they've got tracks the movement of four subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Uh, hmm. The good ones, maybe? Unreciprocated desire for copulation male. That doesn't make any sense, unless maybe that was a good one, kid. What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian knew. He would have said something. Conflict with no, other I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. Hmm. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Okay. Roll M-O-P-E-O-N-D. I don't know what those acronyms stand for, but there's more They've stuff got here. got a map with all sorts of paths and areas marked out on it. 
Hmm. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? Uh, some of their descriptions seem like uncharitable ways of describing me. Yeah. <laughs> really? Those assholes! The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. Hmm. Frequent departure from 240. That's all they got for me. Huh. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? No. Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Oh, maybe. Oh! I was going on to the assumption that Hank actually knew what he was talking about, but maybe not. Okay, is there anything else here that I need to look at? It's getting kind of dark. There's two cots. Three cots, sleeps, actually. Three. They've got a row of cots here. Uh -huh. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah. It's all one operation. Hmm. Like us. Yeah. Like us. Yeah. Like us. Me. The creeper that's kind of... Oh! Hello! I didn't even notice you. Oh, that looks bad. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. Huh. You know, you swear, like, a lot. <laughs> Not the time, <laughs> Hank. Yeah. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Hmm. Holy... Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. Hmm. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, duh. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Um, seems probably behind the tent. I I'm sorry about interrupting my story, but this is actually just getting very interesting, so I don't want to be too distracted by what's going on right now. There's also a ladder there. Oh. Wait. Wait, so it was in the tent. It was somewhere in the tent. So in the tent is another thing that I need to find. Maybe another radio or something. There's gotta be something in there. Oh! It's an Oculus Rift! Hello! Okie dokie then. Uh-oh. Bad music. Henry M. and Delilah. Huh. I wonder who those people are. Delilah. Reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish. Skewed perception of personal history. Uh-oh. That's not a good thing. Are you shitting me? Whoa. What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. Guild-ridden. Oh my What did God. they say? Their assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, did, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Man. Think about it. That's Worst insane. Case scenario. Delilah. Yeah, that's a little I crazy. Come on. It. I am, and I think it's insane. Yeah, it is. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah. Maybe. No! Uh, Delilah, no. My God. No way. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Oh, I'm so fucking wound up. Mm. It's all right. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Wait, no, no! That's not what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to sleep in a situation like that. Hi, you definitely can see. You could see, Delilah. You could see. It's very obvious that you have line of sight to someone right here, right now. How could you not see? Seems to be something about this. Mmm. I don't like this. Multiple lovers despite long tie partner. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't seem good at all. I don't, I, I'm having some suspicions about all of this, and I'm definitely not gonna light the fucker on fire. Let me see if there was any, like, other. Oh, I should take a picture of this. That's right. Okay, I should do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. And blam! Got that. Uh, I should take a picture of. Whoa. I should take a picture. Probably from the angle that's going to incorporate the tower in there. Ugh. And I imagine it didn't flash me forward to the tower because there's definitely going to be something waiting for me on the other side. Let's see. Get out of there. No. Get out. How do I... There we go. Alright, so that's not something I can open up. Wave receiver? Anything? Not picking up a goddamn thing. Okay. 
So, anyway, <laughs> I, I don't want to get back to my happy-go-lucky story just yet because I have a funny feeling that I'm going to be interrupted very soon. Because this took a turn. This took a tr crazy turn. Where am I even in relation to- I know I'm not headed the right way, but I'm just trying to figure out anything that I could do for where I am. I mean, I guess that's it. But there, there was another path that kind of led to, like, the, uh, the fenced-off area on the other side where there wasn't even a door on a few episodes ago where I found it. Yeah. Dang, this is so crazy. Crazy, crazy. I mean, maybe I should take a picture of, like, the note that I had, but I don't even know where to get the note. Like, where, where was that? Observation report? Like, how would I even do that? Maybe I could... Nah, I don't think that. I think I just have it, so that's not entirely important. Man, this is nuts. Like, why would they be doing that? I mean, it doesn't seem like the horrific, like world ending thing but also why were those two teens scared off was it because that they were entering a test area that the scientists uh, the scientists didn't want them to interrupt on and like they had this you know notion that if if the two teens were still there you know they wanted oh no oh, oh no Ugh, that ain't good Whoa. well i'm never going back there again oh shit oh sh oh shit uh delilah there's smoke coming from the site i just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed what the hell happened to you? It's definitely not I the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Uh, we call it in. Call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Yeah, well, maybe I should come to you then. We should be together. Cooperation. This was a problem in a lot of horror movies where you split up and don't do things cooperatively. Who is listening to us? Oh, yes, this is not paranoid at all. Good thing I got four. Oh, no. It's the collage of crazy. Oh, boy. This receiver just picked something up. Uh oh. It's like a signal. It's going beep, beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Thanks. Right, I'm on my way now. Uh. You know what I just picked up? What? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No. I am getting drunk. Uh. Hey, D. I don't want to harsh your vibe, <laughs> but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like mm. it when you think. Ooh, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Last thing I need is another big crossword breakthrough. Oh boy. Oh, now I'm gonna be without Delilah, and I don't know where Forrest Burns went. Bernie! I gotta find Bernie! I don't know what happened. And Delilah's getting drunk because, of course, the best idea isn't to team up and work together. It's to get drunk and try to forget about all your problems and the people observing you and all the people that want to study you for whatever freaking reason of isolation in the woods. Anyway, so... I guess I gotta find out where this stuff comes from, but my first priority is actually finding Forrest Burns. If he's not by that outhouse, then I gotta suspect that Bernie's working against me. Bernie's working with him! Bernie knows something and I'm hitting a tree, excuse me. Sorry, my crazy is getting in the way of my navigational skills. Oh. Hey, there he is! Forrest Burns, you're coming with me, buddy! Oh, man. So is that the June fire or is that something else? Because that fire seems to be getting a little close to me. And I don't know if I can hold- Bernie, I don't know how to tell you this, but I don't know if I can take you with me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to let you guard the entrance so no one gets up to my tower, which is definitely something that's gonna happen. Like, almost 100% guaranteed. <laughs> Bernie, come on. Bernie, just cooperate with me, please. Oh, you were gonna cooperate! Ah, I should've- I shouldn't have doubted you, God damn it, Bernie. Hey, why you gotta be so rude, friend? Don't worry, I'll be here, watching, waiting, wherever, wherever. Okay, thanks, Bernie. Alright, so I gotta find the wave emitter. Where the hell is this thing going? 
And that, that fire does look kind of ominous over there. Anyway, so cool childhood story, right? This is kind of relating a little bit to the situation here because what we did after we put on our ski jackets, me and my brother, we wandered out, we waddled out because we had ski pants too, full ski gloves, hoods over, masks on, in the middle of 90 degree summer. And we waddled out into the middle of the backyard where we then found the bee bush and proceeded to realize that we weren't getting stung. It was absolutely amazing. So this is when I was still eight years old. I was a very stupid eight-year-old kid and all of my childhood stories are going to be when I was eight years old, whether it's true or not. <coughs> so I thought it would be the brilliant idea to show off to my brother and I literally said to him, Hey look! I'm an expert! And then I took off my glove and proceeded to stick my hand directly into the bee bush and the next thing I know, I was running screaming, f sprinting at full speed into the house as my hand was being stung to shit and I was just screaming with my hand and running like ah! waddling in my ski clothes down the backyard and I can only assume that my brother was laughing incredibly hard at me in every way that he could conceivably laugh. Okay, we're getting closer here. Where are we going with this? It's gotta be around down here. Maybe. Oh. Uh-oh. Yes, no? Okay, on the other side of this ridge there. So, like, like a lot of things, like, I assumed that I was an expert in nature and that the animals in the woods liked me, which they did not. And I'm not sure if that was just about me, but I'm pretty sure they didn't like anyone sticking their hand in places where they shouldn't have been sticking them. So, uh, me and my brother continued on our escapades when I was eight years old. Where is this? Have I been down here? Where the hell am I? I don't even know what this is. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever been here. What the hell? Well, this is cool. I don't even know if I've opened this box before. Okay. Huh. Okay. Oh, toilet paper! Good! Exactly what I needed? Uh, Terminal 7. Don't know if that has anything to do with this. Weird. Now a major pishing started. Okay, never mind. Accidental savior? What does that mean? Okay. Oh, okay. I, I know what that means. All right, then. Jane Eyre. This seems to be an interesting reading selection. I wonder who put this stuff here. One chance to die. Well, that's rather ominous for my current situation. I think I've already picked up that one. Map, copy information, and then one more thing. Whoops. Note. What do we got? Ron, really wish the powers that could be issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I prefer to keep think things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets a that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her from mom. Or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her. But I'm a quarter way through this bottle of flies instead. Miss you, Dave. Okay. That's interesting. So Dave misses Ron? Is there some romantic interest there that I'm not understanding, or am I just reading too much into that? Probably the latter. Anyway, so, me- <laughs> uh, Another- another small anecdote from my childhood of terrors was, there was a wasp that was- It involves getting me stung a lot, my childhood, but there was a wasp that was, um, just minding its own business, kind of. Uh, as I was looking out the back window, you know, as a sliding door in a back window, and there was this wasp! It was hanging around a little wasp nest that it was trying to build, and me, I thought that I had this weird communion with animals, you know, I thought- I thought they understood me if I just thought about how much I didn't want to hurt them. So this wasp was flying around the back door, and then brilliant eight-year-old me decided to open the back door, and then stick my thumb out in a- in like, like, for some reason as a kid, I thought a thumbs-up gesture was universal, even to animals, and I thumbed up at it, and I was like, You're doing great, wasp! Good job! And it proceeded to sting me right in the middle of my thumb, and I screamed and cried and then ran inside, forgetting to close the door, and then my dad had to deal with the wasp being inside the house. So, that was another stupid idea about my childhood. It seems like we're getting a little close here. Where the hell could it go? Come on, Come on put it back up, man. Alright, getting closer, getting closer, almost a winner. Clear this gap. I'm sure I'm not gonna get bashed in the face. Whoa, what is this? Was this like always here before? Oh. Hello, thanks for beeping. Ha! What? Oh god. Ah. Ha! Okay, that was weird. Where'd the bag go? 
Huh. That was a little odd. Why would they put the trap there? Huh. Shoshone cave. <gasps> oh. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics. But it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. And I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Ooh. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Uh -huh. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. Uh-oh. I'm not in my tower. Uh-oh. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. To, to the tower? I'm going! I'm gonna beat the shit out of him! I got an extra bar! A crowbax! I got, a, I got something that I'm gonna hit him with very hard. It's called my fist. And I'm gonna ram it into him. That sounds weird. I'm gonna hit him in the face with it. Not in any way that's weird. Except for the fact that I'm gonna punch him. I, I'm getting really defensive about this fisting action. Shouldn't have called it that, but I'm getting really defensive about this. Want to be very clear. Nothing ulterior about my motives here. I just want to punch him in the face. And that sounds shady, but as an aside... Well, I don't know. Forrest Burns, what were you doing? I let someone through. He was my friend. But I was your friend, Bernie! Come on! You'll always be my friend. Everyone, my friend! Okay, bye, Bernie. All right. Let's go get this guy. Let's get him. Let's get him, Bernie, together, as Juan. Whoa, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? Well, sure, is this really the time? <laughs> Those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. Okay. They're not going to try to put it out? Uh-huh. Not yet, apparently. Uh-huh. Okay. Boo! Uh, boo! I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Boo! Bernie. I got a bad feeling about- oh, hey, that's- Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. Yes, let's stare into the face of madness and depravity and let all our morals go! Fisting action away! Sorry, Bernie, I can't handle this anymore. Too crazy, too crazy for me. No! Okay, anyway. How could you betray me? Alright, let's take a listen. Am I gonna get hit in the head again? It's a C4 ridden kid. Tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Uh-huh. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. And it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down, and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. Uh-huh. No! No! He, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Oh, okay, let's just forget about this problem until tomorrow. Everything's okay. Am I still not gonna go visit Delilah? <laughs> to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. Mm -hmm. I'm going down there now. Yeah. We okay. We have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. 
we just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I am no. right! Even though I'm highly susceptible to manipulation according to a report by strangers that broke into my place twice. Even though I don't have a lock and key. What was even the point of boarding that up? I don't have lock and key. Alright. So now, I'm gonna go splunking in a clave. Cave. And then I'm gonna be just fine. And I'm not gonna be murdered at the bottom of a cave. And there's not. God, I can't talk today. There's no Wendigo. What does this spigot do? Okay, that was fun. Glad I explored that option. Okay, so the cave was actually at the northern uh, area of the ma entrance to the lookout area. And it's definitely gonna be just fine. And I'm gonna be okay. All right, so continuing the storyline of uh, me as a horrible eco-terrorist and my brother, you know, somehow <laughs> aiding and abetting in my 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 destiny to try to communicate with animals and ha failing horribly, uh, we 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 would often like. I think it was revenge. I think revenge was a large part of why nature didn't like us because, as I said before, we did crazy things like accidentally wall in tadpoles and I say accidentally because it was out of ignorance I mean we definitely intentionally walled off tadpoles and then caused them to die and it was very bad but also hey, like oh. you you didn't actually make that call right to, to the other lookout no it just stuck in my craw I, no I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me but now that I asked I kind of just wish I hadn't no I couldn't even if I wanted to. I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. Mm -hmm. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I'm the man! I'm the man that picks the right options for these things. So, uh, <laughs> as like trying to make reparations for, you know, Killing so many tadpoles me and my brother had the crazy idea that we were gonna bring tadpoles into our house You know, we were gonna we we're gonna bring them into our home and show them a good life And as you can imagine this did not turn out very well because our idea was to take one of those giant pickle jars You know like the five gallon drum of pickles that you get from Costco for two bucks uh, We we scooped up a bunch of tadpoles in that and then brought in inside and didn't even poke holes in the lid or nothing. Not that that would have even helped because they need fresh water circulation. And for a day, they were doing great. We watched them swim around in what we couldn't imagine was probably pain. And then we <laughs> woke up the next day to discover that, oh, the water turned murky brown and they were all dead. <laughs> So, you know, as much as I loved nature and loved to be in nature, eight-year-old me was probably possessed by a demon. What the hell? A demon. Uh-oh. That didn't sound good. Was probably possessed by a demon and I've just been locked in here, haven't I? Oh, that's not good. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Probably not. Delilah, send someone to the cave, please. Oh, boy. Like, what's the point of all of this? Like, what's the point of all of this? Ah! Ah! I'm raging against the machine! Oh no, the sign fell. Ah! 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 Okay, so yeah, me me and my, is, is tumultuous the right word? Tumultuous relationship with nature is Jesus, kind of akin is to <laughs> what's going on here. All right, so let's see. Yes, yes. maybe I can get out through here. Use Pulaski. Ooh, this is probably not gonna cause a cave-in on my face. Uh-oh. Aw, oh, crap. Well, that wasn't the ideal situation. And there was a long drop over here. Am I able to, like, tie off a rope or anything? Yeah, I'm not able to go down there. Oh, well. So, I, I can- I can tell you that, like, we- Me and my brother didn't try to continue on our epic murdering spree. Even though, unfortunately, there's another situation that I just remembered where, like, things went horribly awry. But not out of our ignorance, because there was this baby bird that, you know, we, we found in the backyard. And we looked for its mother and everything. It had fallen out of the nest or something, or it was it's pushed out of the here. nest. It's freezing here. Who are you talking to? Me? I don't want to talk to you. You're a criminal that probably lit a place on fire. I don't know, maybe. Because there's a lot of gaps in your memory that aren't exactly informing of me. But there was a baby bird, and like, me and my brother, we took it in and we asked our dad for advice. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Ah, uh, that doesn't help. It's a shoe? 
Why is there a shoe down there? Huh. Am I not gonna... Can I get reception out of this? Mm, that sounds creepy. So, we asked our dad for help, and we put it in a box. We clipped up some newspapers to try to keep it warm. Uh, we, 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 like, stripped the stuffing out of a pillow to try to, you know, make it a little makeshift nest. We put it in a box, and it was, like, chirping at us. And so, you know, uh, we wanted to get it food, so we dug worms out of the backyard. We chopped them up real fine, and then uh, we, we, like, fed it to the bird, and it was eating and everything. And then just, like, like, we were so happy that finally we had an animal that wasn't going to die. And then the next morning, like, we woke up, and we were eager to say hi to the bird. And it was dead. It was very sad. We really tried that time. Like, we did whatever we could, but, you know, maybe, maybe the bird had something wrong with it. Maybe, you know, something was going on that we just didn't understand. I don't know. That's one of the sad times where, it, like, we really did our best. Whoa. We really did our best, but things just didn't work out. Okay. So, am I supposed to go out this way, or was I supposed to find a mystery in this cave? Let me just go back, because I was talking about things, and I may have overlooked something. And you guys may be screaming at me in the comments currently, and I don't want none of that. And I can't handle that emotionally. I mean, I just want to backtrack just a little- Well, I guess I can't do that. Okay, maybe I did. Maybe they didn't anticipate that anyone was actually going to try to go backwards in this, because that would just be hilariously stupid. Which is kind of like the description of my channel, to a T. Hilariously stupid. Without the hilarious, just extra stupid. Okay, so there was nothing. And I don't think it's gonna allow me to go in that cave. So sorry about backtracking a bit, but I just wanted to make sure because I was talking and not paying attention very well. And that goes nowhere, and it's getting dark. And I don't remember it being this dark before. And I have a funny feeling that, like, the fire is gonna start catching up to us now. The June fire. And I really do wonder something about, you know, Delilah here. Cause there's something about lying in her past and who knows about that? All right, let's go. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. Hmm. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. Where am I? I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. What's there? <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Oh, I know. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Yeah. I know he's, uh, he's talking about the crack in the rock because that's like the place where you would stick like a climbing anchor. Because rock climbing is like my new favorite thing now. Not actual rock climbing that would be dangerous or anything, just, you know, safe, timid rock climbing that little cowards like me can do indoors with heavy, thick mats. But it's one of my favorite exercises now. And I've probably been talking about it a lot in the past few episodes, but that's not my fault. It's amazing, and I love it, and it's good exercise. And I didn't go this morning because I was very busy and I just got back from Boston and I don't have anything. <sighs> That I have. What is this? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. What? Really? Yeah. He built himself a real castle. Yeah, no joke. It's literally a castle. Oh no, a nest! Oh god! A bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. Oh god. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Mm. Yeah. Uh, sorry. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband, which gives him superpowers. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh my god, go ahead, kill my family. It only makes me stronger. What the hell? That's so sad and hilarious. My god. Oh wow, that is funny. Okay, anyway, that's depressing. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he just <laughs> leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, how old was this kid? They almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. Huh. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. 
Well, that's so bizarre. I thought, like, from the description, Brian was way older. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Hmm. Rope. Sorrow? Tools. Bo oh, borrow. I thought that said sorrow. The rope is so sorrowful. Let's see. What was that? Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait, are you seriously feeling Twelve. threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? I'm just saying I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. Nice. Yep, that's me. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Okay, thank you. That's all I have to say on the matter. There's nothing inside of it, definitely. Okay, there's gotta be uh, something here. Ooh. So bizarre. Didn't know he was 12. I thought he was like an adult. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. His anchors. That's convenient. Yay! Yeah, I think he was gonna hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <laughs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Mm. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Oh, that's not good. Dear Ranger, hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and return it to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? My address is blah, 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 blah. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me to get my back, them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Oh, that's delightful. What is that? There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. Hmm. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, what a good kid. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, And gosh. also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Huh. Man, this is kind of crazy. I, I really had no idea. He was actually legitimately building a castle here. I had no idea that he was 12 years old. I should take a picture of this. That is something. Boink. All right. Off I go. I really want- I, I really would like to think that there's no point in taking the pictures. And it's just kind of an anecdotal thing that you could do if you chose to do it. And now I gotta go back because I have the climbing anchors and I can get back to where I need to. And then I'll be able to do exactly what I need to do. God. It's kind of sad in a way. It's weird because this game takes a lot of, you know, twists and turns in terms of its mood and there's a lot of ups and downs and things and like, you know, there's various like attitudes about it and well, maybe I can't go back this way. I thought it was kind of leading me to that, but apparently not. Huh. Okay, so there's got to be another way around. Uh, if I'm there, there's got to be a way outside of the cave lookout, but it was locked from the other side, so like I would think that it would want me to go back, wouldn't it? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you guys? Huh? Someone answer me. On the radio. Huh. I guess not. Oh, I guess so. No, guess not. Damn it. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, here we go. Okay, I got it. Okay, drive pitting into crack. I don't know what that means, but it sounds official. Very good. You know, that that axe does remind me a lot of Team Fortress. A lot of people do say when, when you, I'm reading your guys' comments a lot, but uh, a lot of you guys have been saying that it does remind a lot of Team Fortress too. And I actually don't know. Was, was this made on the Source engine, which is the same gaming what engine that... What do you think is in there? Well, I don't know. Let's see. There's got to be something. Why else try to kill me? I don't know, really. I mean, we got to find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. No joke. They closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just... Yeah. 
I just want to know. I want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Me too. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice care. I am indeed going the right way. Okay, I'm surprised I have good orientation skills. That's one of my best features. E even though I <laughs> I know there's people typing oh, furiously uh, right also, now. <laughs> those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. Yay. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. Huh. Yeah, I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. Mm -hmm. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. Okay. You're probably right. Interesting analogy there. Did I not open this one? I could have sworn I opened this one. This one was like an important one because it's right by the cave. I definitely would have opened this one. I don't know who relogged. Yeah, I opened this one. I got it. Okay. So yeah, what was I talking about? I have no idea. Something about me being stupid, I imagine. Oh yeah, people typing furiously that I'm stupid and I get lost all the time. Oh yeah, I remember now. That's exactly what I was talking about. My assumption that people would normally be talking about me being terribly stupid was in fact correct. Hooray. Trying to lock me in again this time, bubbas. Losers. Okay, bye-bye. All right, so now, drive pitten into crack. I got that. Crack got back. What a fat stack. Okay. Security I do lack, but here we go. Time for a hank attack. Oh my god, I hope I don't break my back. This rope doesn't have a lot of slack. Oh well. Someone better get ready for a smack with my axe attack. Anybody? Anybody? Oh well. Boy, I hope I get back and <laughs> I hope I get back and enjoy a McDonald's Big Mac. Not sponsored by McDonald's in any way. God, what if that was the case? I was just paid to mention as many McDonald's things as I could. Work them into conversation naturally. Just like in my day-to-day -day life. I know- I- I- I'm- I'm not getting into another story intentionally because I have a funny feeling that something is gonna happen. But- Oh, I was right. The music is kicked up. I have more stories to tell, but- oh, I'm just gonna hold off on them for just a hot second. Whoa. That is a body! That better not- oh no. Oh, shit. Oh no. That's a body. I knew the shoe- oh no. Oh no. Yep, better take a picture of this. Jeez. Oh, that's no good. Oh. Uh. Uh. kid. Your stuff gave out. Yeah. Oh, you poor fucking kid. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's no good at all. God, why does that look like teeth in that? Oh, what is happening here? Climb out of cave and report body. Is that the only thing in here? And why would they, like, why would that be the only thing that they're, uh, like, it doesn't make any sense. Would they even have known that he was down there? Like, and why in the first place would they be studying these people? Why? It doesn't make any sense. I want to find a reason. There's got to be a reason. Uh, this is just bizarre to no end. And why was the kid climbing down here anyway? Like, what was the main purpose? The kid, like, didn't like climbing. He was out of climbing gear, and he didn't have his official rope, which is probably why it broke, but... That's no good. That's no good at all. I did not come over this way. Alrighty, then. Oh, man. Okay. I wonder what Delilah's gonna say about this one. And, unfortunately... We're gonna find out in the next episode. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I, I I really am sorry. I wanted to do the full hour, but I'm very short on time today. And, and in order to get this edited and uploaded, by the time you guys are watching it, I, I need to stop here. This is crazy what's happening in this game, but I promise I'm gonna get to this very soon. I'm trying to do this every other day, so expect the next one 
like Thursday morning, 8 a.m. PST. Sounds good? All right. Thank you guys, everybody, so much for watching. Thank you for writing your comments down below and letting me know what you think of this game. This game is incredibly intriguing and very different than anything I've ever played before. But we shall see what happens at the end. So thanks again, everybody. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! I can hear the music. So <laughs> I am warming up. This is my warm up. It is very good. I warm up real good in my butt, and my butt is fiery, poopy red, with poop in my head and poop in my butt. <laughs>